Hello and welcome back to my December album. This is Teresa Moxley of Larkin Design. And so we're picking up sort of where we left off um, in our series on my process videos for my foundation pages. And so I'm going to flip back to where we were and it may, these pages might look a little bit familiar. I decided to go back and add a little bit. And so I'm looking at this side and seeing what I want to put in that pocket. I'm going to do probably something white um, to tie in with the gold doily vellum. And I don't know about that, um, that card in the bottom pocket. That may not stay there. Um, we'll find out later. Okay, so I didn't go with something white. I went with this wood grain from Ellie's Studio, which I love. And then these navy letters, I'll layer those on top of there later on when there's photos and a title. Um, that's just going to be for a full-page photo. And then this, this um, poinsettia paper. I love this paper. And again, those navy letters just contrast so pretty on top of that. So I can't wait to see what happens there. And I really love that navy card. Um, this layout just, there's so many things that make me happy about it. And there aren't even any pictures in there yet. Um, that little love sticker is, again, from Teresa Collins. And here's the next day. So I'm bringing in a little pink here. And I'm just looking to see what pockets I need to fill. It looks like that bottom left-hand corner. Um, so I'm just showing you the um, transparency that's there. They're little mint stars. And they're so cute. So this Ellie Studio, I decided to pull this little um, filler piece from Ellie Studio. It's the packaging from this Good Cheer card. And... So I want to use it, and I want to cover up the words. So I'm going to try this swashy tape just to see if it makes a little strip. Um, I don't know what I was looking at there. So here goes the washi tape, and pretty much as soon as I put it down, I realized that it's just a little bit too transparent that those words show through. So I'm not really fond of that. Let's see what else I'm going to do. I'm going to put the washi tape away, and I think I'm going to try another card. Um, so I'm just going through, kind of looking to see what I like. And those are cool, but since they're not the full four inches, I do like that red card, that red three by four. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it in half and I go and cut that card and glue it down. I need tape and there's my tape. <laughs> so I'm gonna glue that little red card down and then take it over and trim the white part off because it wasn't even. So this made a little split card. It's a good way to make a pocket look like it's split into two without it actually being split into two. Um, so that's kind of cool. So this looks like it's a four pocket instead of a three pocket page. And I like that. Um, and I like the pink and the red together. I'm going to try to blink, to tie that all together with the mint, the mint, pink, and red. So that's kind of fun, and I'm just looking to see what I can do with this tag. Um, I'm going to layer some of this jelly bean, and I'm just looking to see what other colors I'm working with. This is basically a mint layout here with the gold and white polka dot vellum from MME. And so I'm um, finding these poinsettia pieces that have the pink and the red. Um, so that's a cool way to tie in that, that um, pink card. 
and make it not so obvious. Here's my brads again, and I just have to tell you that I don't buy a lot of brads, but these October afternoon brads, I bought them last year um, with the Silent Night line, and I just keep going back to them, and they keep popping up everywhere. Um, so even though I don't buy them very often, I do actually use the ones that I do buy, so that's kind of cool. And so here we go. I'm going to just um, grab my scissors to poke the hole in the little poinsettia. And then, let's see, in order to position that, I'm just going to tape it a little bit and set that down on the tag. There we go. Try to position it. I'm just going to leave. The other side has a brad. And I'm just going to leave the back of that brad showing on the back. I really don't mind that. Um, it's just good, honest, transparent design. And so I position this brad and get that put into place. And it's a turquoise brad, so that's kind of a pop inside that red and pink poinsettia. So I'm just figuring out what else I want to do with those little vellum 3x3 three three pieces. That's Maggie Holmes um, from last year, the little her little bokeh vellum. And so I'm just going through my stuff to see what I like and see what I want to layer over top of those. Nothing really stood out in that, so I'm going through my um, Teresa Collins and Pink Paisley envelope. I don't know why I mixed those together. They look a lot alike. Um, so I like that. I love the red in that and the glitter. So I'm going to just tape that down real quick. That's easy peasy. And let's see what I find to put on the front side of that. Um, it's just going to be a simple banner. And again, the red. And I just tape that down. And I'm not really worried that some of the white shows through from the back. I'm just not really worried about that. It's, it looks cool. Um, this is one of the things I love about working with transparencies and vellums is seeing what's on the back, seeing how this is put together. It's kind of cool. So these snowflakes are really awesome. They're glittery. They're just super detailed and so I'm going to layer those on. Um, I don't have anything else pink on this layout. I'm just going to staple those snowflakes on there just randomly. And again, I'm not just not worried about the hardware. I just put the staples wherever it looks like fun. Um, and so I'm not really worried about that pink. I'll probably do some pink letters or something on that tag. So that was pretty much that one. Um, I'm just looking on this side to see what else I want to add. I think I'm done with that day. Um, so that's the back and that little filler pocket needs something. I'm still looking. Is that one? No, that's too big. There's another banner. The banners just aren't working right. So there's Mary and Bright, and I really like that one. I really like that little strip. Um, for now, I'm just going to tape it down inside there. But that's going to end up, I have a feeling that will end up changing when I go to do the days. I'm just lining it up and putting it in that pocket. And so we'll see what happens with that later. Um, you know, this is the cool thing about not having to commit to anything just yet. So the little glitter word looks cool there. And I put just a simple North Pole um, journaling card in there. And then here I'm just doing this little polka dot flag in that. And I'll probably layer that um, 
I'll put the, the day number over that later. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it like that with that little skater girl from Crate Paper. I love her. She's so cute, and she reminds me of our girls. So I'm looking at the other side of that, and there's um, two those two cards. I want to cover those or do something in the, in those pockets. So I'm just going through my cards again. Just this is simple filler stuff. Just I need journaling card. I need something to kind of pull in that red heart. There's a red heart on the other side of the transparency. So I'm going to pull in some red and I'm going to pull in some of that turquoise. And so going through my cards, there's that golden white stripe, which I love. And then this this is Allison Kraft from last year from It's Christmas. Ooh, and I really like that one. I really like that red with that heart. Um, and there we go. I'll put the other one in there. That needs a trim. So that'll fit in there. And that one will go in there. So I like that. Red and green. Here from Jelly Bean Soup, and I really like these buttons. Um, there's like a white one, and there's a wood tone one, and there's a couple of clear ones that were just thrown in the ephemera packs. Um, so I put one of those down, and then I think, well, maybe I'll put a button and a brad. So here go my trusty October afternoon brads. And so I'm just trying to figure out well, which which brad and which button so I like this little brad and I'm gonna just glue that button down and in the process of gluing that button down I just kind of take a different direction with what I was gonna do I was gonna do the button and the brad beside it um, and my glue got stuck. So here I finally got the button down, but I changed my mind overnight. So I put the brad in the back side. And now I'm going to look for a paper just to fill that little pocket. Um, I'm liking the red and the green in that basic gray, but I'm not, maybe not. And then I remember that I have some of the My Mind's Eye, um, the Jubilee collection, I think. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do, trying to visualize, looking at the colors, and there it is, that MME collection. And I love that golden white stripe on the back there and those arrows. So I'm going to work with those. I got the arrows cut into a strip. And then I decide that that card is not working with the arrows. So I cut the golden white stripe. I love that stripe. So I'm going to figure out what to do in the back side. And I'm going to use this um, basic gray. This is 25th and Pine from last year. So I'm trimming that down real quick. And there it is. So I just put a little strip of adhesive and pop that in there. And I like that. So thank you again for watching. This is Teresa Moxley of Larkin Design. And check back again later this week for more of my December album.